raised here, 55 years old, been in Morris for 55 years. Um, I've always drawn, but been artistic ever since first grade. So um, I've painted uh, quite a bit, drawn quite a bit. It was just a kind of a fluke that I ended up in the sign business, really. And because um, I had no idea what to do with my artistic ability. I just knew I liked to paint and like to draw and stuff like that. My wife and I had just been married and um, I needed a job and I was, I went to work for a landscaper and I was making $4 an hour shoveling rock, you know. And a gentleman that knew that I was artistic, he worked at this nuclear place out here at LaSalle. Uh, LaSalle Nuclear. And when you're when you're artistic, people tend to think you can do a sign. So I did a lot of really crappy looking signs when I was younger, <laughs> not knowing what I was doing. But because you're artistic, they want a sign. So he knew that I did that. And he owned a little paint store downtown Morris. And I'd go in every once in a while, I'll see him and visit with him. Well, he called me one night and said, hey, how'd you like to make $16 an hour lettering doors out at the nuclear place. I'm going $4, $16? Yeah, I'd love to do the $16. He goes, well, they can't find anybody to do it, and I'll have somebody call you and set something up. So I called, and uh, he said, can you come out tomorrow? I said, sure. So I went down to the hardware store and got a little tiny brush and some black Rust-Oleum paint, and I practiced making two-inch letters, like, till one o'clock in the morning. And I went out there at seven and lettered something up and he said, uh, yeah, it looks good. So I started. And that was supposed to be a two month job. I was out there for two years. About halfway through that two years, I met an old time sign painter who was actually a sign painter. So he told me about the brushes and the paints to use and, and different techniques. So I learned a lot from him. And then once um, we got let go from there, I worked in Joliet for six months at a sign shop, and by that time I started to pick up a lot of work here in Morris, and we just never looked back, so we've been doing a long time. How were you approached by Chuck Johnson? First part of this year, he approached me and said uh, he's put together this project and had seen our, our work down um, by the canal here in Morris. There's two murals down there that uh, I had uh, designed and, and uh, painted. I had a young man help me with one of them. When he approached us, told me about uh, what he was looking to do. So we met a couple different times and, and he brought in some paperwork, some different things like that, and uh, kind of gave me his vision, which was very, very crude. And, and having a couple discussions and knowing the timeline and how many panels we had, you know, we just started putting things in. Like I'd do a couple panels and then I'd have them come back and we'd go to the next couple panels and then we'd go back and say, what about this? And we can add that. And really, I explained to him, um, probably we'll spend more time putting everything together than I actually will painting the piece. Once I start painting it, uh, it all comes together pretty quick. But it's, you know, getting the direction. It needs to flow, it needs to have a starting and an ending point and, and everything in between. So uh, there's quite a bit that goes into it. So we're doing f seven four foot by eight foot panels, eight foot high, so we're 28 feet long. And each panel pretty much represents a time period from the glacier, as the glacier is receding on the plains out here, to present day. So there's a lot to fit in there and, you know, try and pick what you want to represent. So, you know, the first one is going to be the glacier receding with a woolly mammoth and some other animals from that time. No trees because the glacier wiped everything away. And then as we go through, we're going to see the Illinois River widen and, and Lewis and Clark. And then we're going to see some barges. Then we're going to see some recreational people. And it's just kind of telling the story of this time or this, this area you know, through time. So it's pretty interesting. I've learned quite a bit just from talking with Chuck and Sue and um, what and all their knowledge of it. How long has Midwest Sign Works been in business? My wife and I have been in the sign business for 30 years, uh, able to utilize, you know, our artistic uh, abilities. My wife Rose kind of, she owns the business 
as far as like paperwork and stuff like that but we're we're pretty much partners as far as uh, she's very artistic in her own right and um, between the two of us um, we're gonna be married 34 years here in September so <laughs> we've been married for 34 we're working together for 30 so a lot of people find that pretty interesting that we can uh, get together and, and get along how are you painting these panels you know, I'm just using acrylic acrylic, acrylic paints um, I tend to use them in layers like uh, maybe like a watercolor kind of situation a lot of blending like with a dry brush technique and um, I've, I've between just regular standard acrylic and I lose, use a lot of uh, house paint like exterior house paint any final thoughts you have to be inspired to paint you know, I could say all day long, I, I'm going to paint a picture, but unless I'm inspired to paint that picture, I don't do it, or it doesn't turn out quite as, as how you want it. So what I've learned through the sign industry is how to become inspired <laughs> when not necessarily inspired.